I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. Uh, seriously, they don't care if it, you don't know if they care, do not care, or if it's just plain ignorance. Yeah, some people are like that. I had to complain about people downstairs. I recorded them and sent them to the estate manager. That was pretty funny. Um, where can I find a crate dragon? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says there is a dragon in the Eastern Dune Sea that you could sacrifice yourself to. You already have a map to the area. Translation. There is a hunter, a Twi'lek, that is sometimes seen out there. Perhaps he would be of some help. What is a dragon pill? Translation. <laughs> Translation. Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently they are valuable items. They're kidney stones. Why are they so hostile to outsiders? Translation. Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. He says you are blind. Translation, his people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. What do you mean, raise myself above the land? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Awesome moisture evaporators. Oh, there we go. And why he bargained for evaporators when they are unnatural? I ask why. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation. If your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. That's convenient excuse. Why does he have contact with the land while completely covered? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. The screams and howling gets quite old rather quick. Ah, oh, but my immersion! Um, never? Not even in death? Translation. Translation. Never. That is their way, Master. Um... <laughs> Tell him I apologize for previously unwrapping his warriors. Protocol. Is that wise, Master? They may have assumed that the disguises you used were replicas instead of being taken off their dead. <laughs> Just tell him I want to see what happens. Um, okay, maybe not. I think that's all. Tom, let's go back to my other questions. Protocol. We should not keep him long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so, is Baz on the wiki planet? Oh, yeah. Um, tell him farewell for now. Translation. That's yeah, fine. Translation. I just want to ask that question quickly. Query. And da -da -da. <laughs> okay, this, this is tell him. I want to see what happens. Translation. Translation. The result is predictable. You have desecrated their dead. Happily, it seems the peace <laughs> is over. It is time to kill. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. So worth it. Like, I'm. It's pretty cool that they have those options because usually, if you just stay in like a pure dark side playthrough, you don't even get this far. You just like go to the entrance, and start slaughtering. No problem. Got it. So the fact that they thought about like 
um, people playing dark side differently. Oh, I can't do that eh? It's pretty cool. You guys are probably the only people in games who actually care about us looting. How's it? Hey, Griff. Uh, you there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Oh, well, there's the truth and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus, sis, just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough looking friend there. Yeah, HK looks pretty good. Um, the sad people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. So, no credits? Um, don't be so sure. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Sure, he has 100 credits. That's it, huh? Figured you'd be able to spare a bit more than that. Hey, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Don't worry about me. I've already got a job waiting for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. And he reminds me of myself. Mm. Except better. You know, the ghost of giants that held us trapped, the people of the sand, you're from the old city new. I just must have seen you saying you're coming. Are you a rescuer? You must be. Some people said you can go, run to Anchorhead. Um, actually, I need to ask you some questions first. To answer the beats of freedom. I'm looking for something. A star map. Actually, why were you taken captive? Save to the people of the sand who worked before the whip. We scavenged and they paid with the hidden Gaffy. We trade with your kind, so we are weapons. They take what we find, so you have less. Oh, these to you are your kind. Help us get away from the Gaffy and the whip. Um, I'm not done asking questions. What do you mean by old city new? The city new and now founded by a group that digs. It's not new to you. We scavenged what came before. If we we'll fall again, some days will last, or many days. That is what happens. Now, please, okay. Uh, I'm looking for something. A star map. I hear this. Eyes is well known. We scavenge and see many things, and Eyes could tell. You can trade for a rescue. Help us here, and then talk to him in the city. Now, please, okay. So you said you can go run to Anchorhead. Yeah, thanks. You must have. The job is on the eyes of the board and trade. Find him. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Oh. My internet just dropped. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> just like the simulations. 
Oh, I might not want to loot so badly. Uh, is there anyone in here? Let's close the door. No, I don't want to talk to you. Hello? Oh! It actually worked. Does this mean Sneak actually has a use in this area? Because that's pretty insane. Um, email. Okay, not talking to me. Just like normal females. <laughs> uh. Oh man, I'm, I have to remember every time I see loot and to not actually take it. Where's the history guy? I know, I just want to talk to him first. I know he won't tell us anything. Yo! Yo! Ah! It's good they don't mind me running into them constantly. No use finding him before getting the pearl. I know, but I wanted to see if he had anything huh? to say. Master? What? I'm sure it's this guy. Okay. I've already gone that round, so I'll just leave now. We'll come back with the pearl. And we need to actually get Bastila back. Ugh, it's HK. HK, you better not be killing these guys. Or maybe you better should be. You better should be? Hmm. Questionable English. Just like always. Um... Did we get a map from that guy? Oh, let's just go back. Fine. You just run back. Gonna be about the same distance. Kind of. Wrong button. Oh, is that guy gonna say anything? Oh. Okay. He looked like he was trying to stop me to say something. You are real kind, Isis of Jawa. Thank you for what was done. The mine have returned because of you. It was as was agreed, as Isis has hoped it was. I have things to give you. Take and be welcome. I'm looking for something called a star map. Can you help? You have saved the tribal lives, and we have Jawa willing to trade. I know of this, but it is far away. In the south of the east, the eastern Indian Sea, we look for the people of Santa Fe, strange things with people before. Already, do you have a map for the eastern Indian Follow it, and you'll find what you need in the lair of the dragon. Oh, okay. A dragon? What kind of creature is that? The greatest little desert. There is no larger, bigger than the big machines. Jawa doesn't know how to fight something so big. Here is a hunter, a toilet. He has seen many things. Look in the eastern Indian Sea when you are in my help. Thank you. Goodbye. You are a good friend of the Jawas. You will remember when your kind are gone. Ask if you need any more of anything. Okay. Hmm? Go ah. Yeah, every time you change areas, you have to scroll back to what you had selected before. A bit annoying. Whoops, wrong one. Good. 
Great efficiency. <laughs> you cannot win. The way he was running was so weird. Yes, level up. It's apparently killing these things and sunning their plates is a really good way to make a lot of money. And you get XP at the same time. I prefer Pizark. You get no experience and just a little bit of money. It's definitely much better. Yes. What? It hurts your viewers more. <laughs> exactly. Nothing but the highest quality of pain. And mental anguish. I could explore this whole area, but I don't even think I need to. But I'm going to anyway, because I might miss something. Like a med pack. Not that I use med packs. I'd like to have my collection. I mean, once you save the universe, it doesn't pay well, so you gotta look after yourself, you know? Let's start off my own store. Yes, I know, it'll be a death trap for anyone wandering aimlessly. Why can't we just land the Ebon Hawk right here? Eh, another big drop. My bad, sorry. <laughs> HK's got our rear. Look how slow he is. What? But while I'm waiting, we level him up. <clears throat> and treat injury, sure. Um, probably good to get this. She can use force armor while I use night speed and stuff. Got to have a nice synergy going. Okay. Just make sure we're all together. Sure. Come yeah, on. Wow, Bastler, can you be any slower? She's really got like a nice dark side gate. But it's not the time. Are you the guy I need to kill? Oh, it's not. Oh, there's the other I'm guy. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, so big you couldn't comprehend it. This guy's voice a little lower. I thought I would see you out here, human. We are hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should pull our skills. I attract a very special beast to its lair. A crate dragon rests within. And tonight, he is the hunter. Although, by unorthodox means. <laughs> you got killed by a headache. <laughs> nice. Now, yeah, Panados aren't a thing in Star Wars. Oh. Panado is paracetamol. Um, I thought you preferred the solar hunt. That is true, but this is a very critical fight. All dragons are rare to see. Rarer still is the apparent size of this one. It is larger than the one my father felled a decade ago, and he is too far out of his territory, he must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone, human, but I must try. Why should we kill this great beast? The natural cycle on Tatooine spans hundreds of years, but there are complications that must be addressed. Complications from our presence. Great dragons feed on panthers. If the numbers of either species fall, the other grows too numerous, and unbalances the cycle. Now settlers use panthers, so there are less for dragons to eat. This might be closer to Anchorhead, perhaps there will be more. But here's a threat tonight. Today? Um... I'm looking for a star map. It might be in this dragon's lair. I have no knowledge of that, but there may be something in there. There are signs that this lair was purposefully dug out. Crates are opportunistic, opportunistic and may, may have lazily moved into someone else's excavation. Of course, we must remove it to see. Why do you want me and not another hunter? You are here, they are not. I also didn't know the size of my quarry until I was tracking him. And perhaps there are... Other reasons. I tried to get the help from another, but you saw him die in the lair. He lacked experience and, more importantly, patience. I usually hunt for the skill of it, but must make an exception today. I want newcomers to understand the proper intent behind the hunt, and that's the methods we use. Um, I'll help give me more information about how. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lake, and his hide will repel blast to fire. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out. This is the end of the season of hibernation, and it will take much to rouse him. The food of a beast of size is almost exclusively bankers, and foolish hunters if we are not careful. Blair Mountain must lure his food to tempt him. How will we lead the banthers here? They too have their food of choice. We must find some bantha father to be the banthas here. I have a few ideas about where this may be found. Sand people keep bantha herds, so some of them must have the father on hand or in their settlement. A vendor in Anchorhead also had some. He had a kiosk in the spaceport. If you find fodder and bait the banthas here, the mines will take deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. This seems very easy. What aren't you telling me? There is one added threat. The sand people regard banthas as sacred. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. We are far from the weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. Um. Look, I have your fodder. Good. Now there is a herd that moves out in a desert. Lead them here, approach them with the fodder, and lead them here. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against the sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish you could be under more spe sporting circumstances, but we must deal with the circumstances called for. I hope for a mirror my father's expedition, but I will have to wait. I don't know. I don't think we need to take on this, this dragon with mines. I think we can handle them just fine. And then we can take all the mines and make more money, right? Hey, Puff! Hmm, well, Star Map's not in there. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that was fun.
Where's the banter poodoo? I have to put them in the things. Jeez, I can't remember this. I have to put it in here? No. Yeah. Did I just forget to do something? Okay, that's fine. Okay. I thought the band had just like appeared here. That's not a bad thing. Maybe just try to leave the area and come back in. Hey, if that doesn't work, I'll just talk to that guy again. I'll go the opposite way. I remember they were up on the hill. I was pretty sure they just appeared. Oh, unless I loaded my game to before I spoke to this guy. That's probably what happened. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I was very confused there for a sec. Bantha perks up as you approach, obviously attracted to the smell of the fodder you are carrying. The whole herd falls in step. Ooh, these guys are elite. They're probably going to destroy me. Bastila, force shield. I'm here. Yes? Ow. Oh, she's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. That's great. Sure. Bastila, what are you doing? Ready. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh. Only worth forty five XP. 